Next thing we're going to do is to attach our sleeves. Um, this is our sleeve. The pointy side is the back. We're going to attach our sleeve to the front. Good sides together. This is the good side of our front. Easy enough to recognize. It's got the bag on it. Um, good side down. This is the pointy, so this is the back. We're attaching the front. So this side, we're going to sew to this seam. And then our other sleeve. Good side down. This is the back. We're attaching the front. We're going to attach this seam too. The idea being that then we'll have this thing. You can also do this on a serger. And in a way that's easier. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them. And then I'm going to individually sew down the seam allowance on, on allowance on both sides with um, sort of stitching. That's more work, but I just think it's a nicer and more sophisticated finish than just a search seam. People sometimes say like, hey, um, there's no line, like how do you know where to sew? But um, I have this line on my sewing machine. I've placed like a piece of tape here and the edge of the tape is um, the standard seam allowance and then I also marked, so this is one centimeter and then I've marked um, one and a half centimeter and two centimeter and so you can just align your fabric with that. You can also buy like a physical sewing gouge but um, yeah, tape works fine for me. Now as I said, I'm not using a serger for these seams. I find it to be of a cheap looking finish. I prefer to use a proper um, seam and also these seams don't really have to stretch so there's no use for a serger, no need for it. However, if you do as I do, you need to press open this seam around. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to edge stitch this here and here to, um, to secure this seam allowance. I'm doing the, uh, the edge stitching, top stitching to lock the seam down first because if I attach the back to this, the more pieces we attach to, the more of a hassle it becomes to manipulate on, uh, under the sewing machine. And sort of start having this tube. Whereas now everything's still flat. I need to buy a sort of a holder for my camera so I can give you a better vantage point on what's going on the machine. So for now you just sit there in the corner. We got our front, we got the sleeves attached here. I've top stitched the green side because I have green thread in my machine now. I'll top stitch the gray side later. Since I have the green thread in my machine, I'm going to place the back on it with the good side down, so good sides together. And then this other side of the sleeve. Needs to be attached like that. And then the same thing here. One side you get this really pointy bit that joins this, right? Start on the other side because it's a bit tricky to align this pointy bit. Actually, it's not tricky at all. You just have to make sure that at the seam allowance that's where you cross, right? So there. But it's just easier to start on the other side. So do that. Okay, so this is the back, this is the front, we got our sleeves here. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to close the sides here, of front and back. And we'll eventually also close these sleeves, however, I'm just going to do this side, right, this part, with the green thread in my machine, same thing here. And I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to change the thread and we're going to close those sleeves and also do the top stitching in grey.
So this is actually starting to look like something, isn't it? We got our front sleeves. Um, we stop stitched the green side back and front and on the side it's been top stitched from both sides. Now this is what I talked about earlier. You can just search this together but I find this to be a much nicer and more professional finish. You do of course do what you want. I'm gonna now retread my machine and then um, top stitch the grey side on the sleeves and also close the sleeve seam as we did with the sides, press it open and uh, top stitch. Okay, so I have attached the sleeves and I have closed the side seams, both here um, on the front in the blue as here on the sleeves. Um, I've also applied the same um, top stitching to lock down the seam allowance here on the front and back of the raglan sleeve, on the side and in the sleeve itself. Um, in the sleeve, arguably, it's a little bit tricky because there's not a lot of space, you have to sew in a tunnel. But it's good practice for you for when we will be making shirts together. So, um, I've also trimmed back the seam allowance a little bit, not like crazy aggressive, it's just a bit. Um, which means that it also looks sort of neat on the inside. As you can see here, um, I find this to be a nicer finish than just serge, but if you want to serge, by all means, go ahead, it's not forbidden. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to construct our hood, and then we're going to attach the hood to this um, body, which for now I'll just um, move over. There we go.